Today I would like to cook you something which is funny one and an incredible tasty one. And from Turkish to English direct translation is wet cake. Wet cake is this cacao chocolatey cake which is incredibly moist, kind of fudgy and in Turkey from children to elderly everyone loves it. So, actually this is a cake recipe and I'm going to make this cake in such a way that I also want to show you the little details and tips about making a good cake. First off, we're going to use eggs and we're going to use four eggs. To this, for the egg smell to go away, we need sugar and we have 200 grams of sugar. And we just start by whisking the egg and the sugar. What does this do? Two things. One, the sugar takes away the smell of the egg in a way kind of by whisking for a long time, it kind of cooks it and the heavy smell of an egg in some cakes, that goes away. First we start slow, now we increase. Secondly, by whisking it very hard with light ingredients, it's gonna help to raise the white. The size is now one third and will increase in size three times. So this will help the cake to rise. As you can see, this is very yellow. As I continue, it will turn to whiter. As you can see, the mixture is much whiter and it's like grown size. But let's check whether it's ready. To check it, what we have to do is try to make an, like an infinity sign or a ribbon or an eight. I start to make an eight, but it disappears until I finish it. What it has to do is until you finish it, you have to see the eight, then it will disappear. So it's not ready yet, so I have to whisk it even more. Now, let's check again. Edit. We see the ribbon and that's done. Now, we're gonna continue adding the liquids. So here I have 100 milliliters of milk and 130 milliliters of oil. This could be butter, but it would be heavier. This is very nice smelling hazelnut oil, but you can use sunflower, you can use anything. Also for some cakes like the coconut oil, the burning point of coconut oil is, I think it's around 170, so the cake is gonna be baked in 180. And I know lots of people use it, but I have questions about it. I haven't researched it yet. I'm like iffy about coconut oil. I know you asked these kind of questions, so I wanted to include that. So the liquids are in, I'm continuing. And the flour is 140 grams of flour. You can sift it as well, but not today. I also include 10 grams of baking powder and 10 grams of vanillin. In Turkey, it's very rare, and I know in some parts of the world, uh, you can use vanillin extract. A teaspoon would be enough, but you can use the powder one. You can use the actual pods, but they are now very expensive. And also three tablespoons of cacao powder, a pinch of salt always to carry out the balance of sweet and salty. And so what I do, this time not on high, but very low, I mix rest of the ingredients. So this is all done. I clean the sides one final time and one final mix. Just this much, not that much, because I don't want to ruin the high egg whites. So this goes on the side. I get my baking tin. It's a one with a ring. It's easily removable, but you can use anything. This helps for me to put a lot of sauce. And then when I take it out, it's beautiful. But if you don't have, if you have an ordinary pan, you can also use it. I get the butter. I butter everywhere. And then I put a pinch of flour. I move it around because I buttered everywhere. The flour sticks in a very thin surface. I don't want it to be very thick. That's why I hit my hand. If it's very thick, I will have like white spots on the sides. Very thin like this. This is important. Okay, you see how bubbly it is? This is what we want. This smells so great. You want to lick what's left over. Anyways, now this goes to the oven. This is 100 
80 degrees. Top and bottom shelf is on without any fan for the cake to easily rise. Look at the tray. I have reversed it instead of this. It's here on the second rack. This way, the cake really stands in the perfect middle. And it's easy to take it off and on because there isn't a hole. This is how I love using when I make a cake, when I have something which I don't want to move a lot in the oven. So I'm not going to uh, open the oven until it totally rises and it's going to take around 40 minutes. Then after 40 minutes, we're going to check whether the cake is done. Now we're going to make the sauce. I have here 300 milliliters of milk. I have three heap tablespoons of custard sugar. If you don't have it, you can even use normal sugar. It's okay. And here I have two tablespoons of cacao powder. Actually, this is a chocolate cake without chocolate in a way because it makes everything cheaper and easier to find. Then to this, I'm going to also add 200 milliliters of cream. This is 35% of fat cream, which is whipping cream. This is milk-based cream. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mix it until it just bubbles and the sauce will be ready. But you can say, Rifika, you're making this chocolate cake without chocolate. You're right. What you can do instead of cream, it, this is 70 grams, so like three packs of chocolate like this could work. And also increase the milk from 300 to 350. Or you can just do it like this. In Turkey, people don't use it in this traditional recipe. But they also don't use cream, but the cream gives it a great shape. If you don't have cream, you can use some butter, but the effect is not the same. So I'm just going to add 70 grams. Now, sauce is also ready. It started to bubble and that's what it means. It's ready. I turn off the heat. I'm going to reheat it when the cake is out of the oven. So I get a small break. Now I'm going to check my cake. I'm going to like put a knife inside. Oh, it's clear. If this is like as clear as this, the cake is ready to go out. Now, what we're gonna do, I want to have small holes like this. I want to take, would you like to? It's quite hot. Mm, perfect. Mm. And this goes to Burak. <laughs> and to other places, I'm just making holes like this. These are gonna be holes for the sauce to flow inside. Normally, when you make sherbet, one of them should be cold and the other one should be hot. Why? To make it crunchy. But here we want it soggy. We want it like mushy. So both of them are really hot. Now slowly the cake will soak all the sauce. I can help it soak in a way like this. Especially on the corners, because they're like shorter, you can make holes easier. Like this. And then... How long do we have to wait to eat this? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, at least two hours. Yeah. Uh, for it to totally cool down. What you do, every like 10-15 minutes, collect the sauce on the side and drop it in the middle. You can do incisions like this and then add the sauce. Now I can hear Bahar's salvation and how she swallows them. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I eat it like a hot cake? It's not wet enough yet. But Bahar, you can eat this one. <gasps> yes. When we were small children, while my mom was trying to teach me how to make pudding and etc. And that was like the ready-made ones. We call this kazandibi, which is the most tasty part. And she would let me eat it. So Thank you, mama. Don't forget to time to time distribute the sauce to the top again. Now, this is gonna go on the side table for it to rest. And then after it's totally cooled down, you can eat it, but it's better if you put it into the refrigerator and let it totally cool and eat it with an ice cream. That would be great. Now, that time has come, ladies and gentlemen. Why did you put just one tea glass for me? These are the very traditional small ones. One day I want to make a video about 
Turkish tea. Now, are you ready? Someone also can eat the sides. So all the sides are like this. Ina, this piece goes to you. Can you see it here? The sides, bahar, the wetness. This is a very simple recipe, but its power comes from actually this simplicity. These parts are the excessively wet ones, but also like the other cake parts are also wet, but not as much. So that's it. Now, on top of this, the ice cream I love. And the Oscar goes to this beauty here. Bit of sauce. Enough wrong. <laughs> he said, Oha chuk here. Holy. Mm? Very good. <laughs> I love cooking. This is why I love sharing. I cannot find words to say anything else. The simplicity of this cake is what lies in the beauty of it. This is the spoon I can have used. That's what I want. Manja, get it, Papa. This is for you. Please leave a small comment if you appreciate us and if you haven't been a subscriber yet here is a place to subscribe and if you like desserts different kind of desserts I have one recipe for you in here and another one here take great care